All right, everyone, we are back, and I believe this is going to be the last chapter of this awesome game. And so let's just jump right into it. We last saw some creepy looking puppet, and it just ran away. So we're going to go, I guess, find it or run into it. I don't know. But let's just jump into it. All right, um, let's go into the elevator. Lockdown. Hello? Hello? Gordon? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. <laughs> what does that so even mean? So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. Of course. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham-blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> flashlight. Oh, man, we're going into darkness. All right. Ooh, we have a little enough ammo. Okay. Do I have any shotgun bullets? I don't. This is not good. Let me check my uh, stuff in here. Nope. I will take one of those out, Alex. Can we? Hold on. Take. We'll take one of those. I don't think I need this many. Uh, uh, candy bars. I could just probably keep one. And then, uh, I believe that's it. That, just trying to tidy this up a bit. That. We have grenades. No shotgun bullets. This isn't good at all. This isn't good. Like I said, we have grenades, so that's, that's at least something. Reflection, part two. Driven by a re restless spirit, I go up on the roof, and there above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful, and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. As I stare, and as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me, something that says I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. The unfriendly neighborhood. Oh, great. Unfriendly. Oh, I'm out. Come on, you can do better. 
feel like. Oh fuck. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah, punk! Are you dead? What the hell is this? It's like a combination of uh... Right. So this is like same similar studio or same studio, but just messed up. Assuming we can't go in here because there's no door. All right, laundry. Can't go in there either because it's blocked. I guess we're done here. Alright. Oh no. Where are we? Like a TV spot or something. A bunch of cameras? Not a bunch, just two cameras. Final address. Dear children. I am sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's wrong, what's right and wrong, because the world is broken. We're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. And there is nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world, the light that is also love, to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light. So the message I want to leave you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But we but have faith in the light because the light will rescue you from the darkness. All right. Um I'm assuming they read that on air. And oh, there's another tape here. Is that in the hallway? Yeah, it is, I figured. These are still locked. Guessing we're done here. We did our job. I think I guess we're done? No, no. Are we? Do we leave? Beat the boss and escape the unfriendly neighborhood. Oh, it's coming morning. Gordon, you're alive! I'm so proud! Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. <laughs> mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh, oh no. You've been 
hanging around the studio, you know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? <laughs> Ricky, I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? <laughs> oh, I get to choose? I kind of want to say yes, because I feel like Gordon has a good heart and wants to see the good done and helping others. And maybe in the, on a global scale, because he did help. We were able to help a bunch of, not a bunch, a few monster puppets. Fine. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. <laughs> Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. O'Brien, what have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show. Some people hated it. That caught the network's attention, and by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. At that point, I figured I had done my part, so I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show, but for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window, wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. Hmm. So I'm guessing there's multiple endings uh, with this. This game will know or harder because the game will survive with difficulty and harder. That was a fun game though. Um, it had a lot of uh, deep. Um, uh, meanings behind the story in general. And like I said, Gordon had a has a really good heart and wanted to help out in the end. I believe. But um I, I kinda regret not being able to help out the uh Ray in the sewer as well as the dogs. And I think it was someone else. Or maybe it was just those two. So I'm thinking if there's multiple endings, I'm wondering what, what will happen if I were to save everyone or s in terms of those monster um, puppets and their ending would have made maybe better or worse. I don't know. But, um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed the game. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's pretty cheap on Steam right now. Uh, and it's not long, obviously, as we saw. And um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Yeah. Nice keeping that song oh, from the trailer. Uh, think I but um, oh wait, there's another yeah, one happening. The oh, this is just the results. You only died two times. Oh, it's like Resident Evil. Right. Free camo, infinite ammo, veteran, long arms, speedy Gordon, triple enemies, speedy enemies, joint list, rag dolls, chipmunk voices, slow mo. Oh my god, we unlocked a lot of cheats. Oh, so those are the tapes, I, I'm guessing. So, all right, in any case, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the playthrough, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the game itself, and I will see you all next time. Bye.